Welcome back to NatFL, friends. This is Lastest Updates. How Miami Dolphins fans to watch 2021 NFL First Round Draft, NFL Draft Television Schedule. Latest update on the 2021 schedule of the Miami Dolphins. The NFL owners changes the rules of the game in 2021 season. It affects all teams and players, including the Miami Dolphins. Lynn Bowden Jr. wants to switch to the number 6 jersey. ESPN continue with Miami Dolphins mock draft. Overload OL. Subscribe and like this video. Thank you. How Miami Dolphins fans to watch 2021 NFL Draft and NFL Draft Television Schedule. The NFL kicks off its three-day draft extravaganza on April 29 from Cleveland. The Sunshine State will open and close the festivities as they are currently structured, with the Jacksonville Jaguars making the first pick and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the final slot in the last round, barring any trades of those slots. There will be 259 selections made with the first round taking place Thursday, the second and third rounds Friday. Rounds 4 through 7 go on Saturday. NFL Draft Television Schedule. Thursday, April 29. 8 to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, NFL Draft, Round 1 ABC, ABC App, ESPN, ESPN App, ESPN Radio, ESPN Deportes, NFL Network. Friday, April 30th, 7 to 11.30 p.m., NFL Draft, 11.30 p.m., NFL Draft, Rounds 2 and 3 ABC, ABC App, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN App, ESPN Radio, ESPN Deportes, NFL Network. Saturday, May 1st, 12 to 7 p.m., NFL Draft, Rounds 4, 7, A, B, C, ESPN Simulcast, ABC app, ESPN app, ESPN radio, ESPN Deportes, NFL network. In round 1, Miami Dolphins stay at 6th and 18th pick. Latest update on the 2021 schedule of the Miami Dolphins. We have known since the end of the 2020 season which NFL franchises will be appearing on the Miami Dolphins schedule this upcoming fall. Once the regular season was closed, Miami's stipulated opponents were locked and loaded. And we've even known which teams Miami would be facing at home and on the road. The Dolphins' biggest schedule announcement since the end of the 2020 season was that the league had added a 17th regular season game to the schedule. But that won't be the case for long. The NFL has green-lit their schedule reveal and it's just around the corner. Two weeks from the end of the 2021 NFL draft, the Miami Dolphins, along with the rest of the league, will be unveiling their 2021 schedule. Here's to the Dolphins, who doubled their win total from the previous season in 2020, getting a little bit more national spotlight on them in year three of their rebuild. Miami's primetime sampling in 2020 was sparse and helped out by a late-season flex to put their clash against the Las Vegas Raiders in Week 16 into primetime the day after Christmas. The more compelling, and competitive, your team is, the more you'll typically get thrust into the national spotlight with primetime games. So we'll find out in a few weeks what the league thinks of the Dolphins entering into 2021. The NFL owners changes the rules of the game in 2021 season, it affects all teams and players, including the Miami Dolphins. NFL owners approved a series of new rules Wednesday for the 2021 season, including one that will expand the influence of replay officials amid ongoing demands from coaches for more oversight of game day officials. Owners rejected more robust proposals for a full-time sky judge, including one from the Baltimore Ravens that would have created a booth umpire. Instead, owners took the more modest step of giving the existing replay officials, who sit in the press box of each stadium, the authority to consult with referees on certain, specific, objective aspects of a play when clear and obvious video evidence is present, according to the language of the rule. Replay officials will not be able to throw flags or reverse calls on their own. But they can now offer referees advice based on what they've seen on broadcast replays in the areas of possession, completed or intercepted passes, the location of the ball relative to the boundary or endline, and whether a player is down by contact. Previously, Replay officials had been limited to participating in plays that were under review. Coaches will not have to throw challenge flags to prompt that advice, which some replay officials have been giving referees informally for years. 
Rich McKay, chairman of the NFL Competition Committee, said neither the committee nor owners felt comfortable with adding an additional official with full authority. I think we should try this, McKay said. We have the technology. We have really good technology. It sits in the booth with the replay official, and it sits in New York. I think what we thought, and what the coaches subcommittee thought, was let's use that technology and let's try to improve the crew. I do get nervous when it goes beyond that. In other news regarding Wednesday's votes, NFL owners, 1. Approved a relaxation of rules for the numbers that players of certain positions can wear because of expanded practice squads. Running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, defensive backs and linebackers can all wear numbers in the single digits now if they choose. Based on pre-existing NFL rules, players who want to change their numbers this season will have to buy out the inventory of the NFL's manufacturing partners. This wouldn't apply to players who give notice in 2021 that they want to change numbers in 2022. 2. Approved a one-year experiment in an attempt to make it easier to recover onside kicks. In 2021, the receiving team on kickoffs will be limited to nine players within 25 yards of the ball. Last season, NFL teams recovered only three of 67 onside kicks, the lowest total and recovery rate since at least 2001. As a result, the Philadelphia, the Philadelphia Eagles proposed that teams be given an option to gain 15 yards and one offensive play from their own 25-yard line to retain possession after a score. 3. Tabled a rule that would have expanded the area where players are prohibited from blocking below the waist. McKay said that there is enough support to pass the rule now but that several teams had questions that will take some time to address. It could be revisited next month. 4. Eliminated overtime in preseason games. 5. Changed a rule that will now force a loss of down if two passes are completed behind the line of scrimmage. 6. Approved a rule change that ensures the enforcement of all accepted penalties during successive try attempts, defined as an opportunity for a team to score one or two additional points during one scrimmage down. 7. Did not act on a spot or choose proposal from the Ravens for the winner of the overtime coin toss. In that scenario, the team would have the option to choose either which team will have the first possession of overtime or where the ball would be spotted. 8. Decided to include taunting among its points of emphasis for 2021. McKay clarified that the emphasis would be directed not at celebrations but toward acrimonious interaction among players. 9. Tabled a proposal from the Buffalo Bills that would have pushed back interviews for general manager and head coaching positions until after the championship round of the playoffs and would have prevented hires until after the Super Bowl. It will be further studied. P10. Completed a study of the sharp drop in offensive holding during the 2020 season. McKay said that Walt Anderson, the NFL's senior vice president of training and development, would clarify the standard and put together a video for teams to consume before the 2021 season. Lynn Bowden Jr. wants to switch to the number 6 jersey. The NFL has officially passed a new rule that will allow players to expand their number selection. In the past, groups of numbers have been reserved for only a handful of position groups, but as of 2021 you will begin to see more and more variety along all levels of the field. Specifically for the Miami Dolphins, we have our first contender to make a numbers switch that would have previously not been allowed in the NFL. Second-year wide receiver Lynn Bowden Jr. officially has his eyes on number 6, so much so that he's already got a number swap ready thanks to a graphics designer. Interestingly enough, the Dolphins do appear set for a bottleneck on the roster as things currently stand. Bowden Jr. sported number 15 in 2020, but that number belonged to W.R. Albert Wilson the prior season. Wilson, of course, opted out of the 2020 season amid the COVID-19 pandemic and is expected to be back with the team again this year this year. While the NFL's rules and numbers policy is evolving, one thing that has not changed is that multiple players cannot wear the same number, let alone two players at the same position. So look for someone to be making a swap. If Bowden has his way, he may be the first Dolphins player to take advantage of the new, looser guidelines for positional number assignments. Heck, He's got his number picked out already. ESPN continue with Miami Dolphins mock draft, overload OL. We're not quite sure what the Miami Dolphins did to upset Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay this offseason, 
but the duo has not been kind to Miami in their forecasts for the 2021 NFL draft in recent days. It was just a week ago that Kuiper Jr. projected the Dolphins, less than a month after trading out of the number three overall pick, would trade back up to number four and leave themselves with less draft picks in 2021 and 2022 than they'd originally started with. And now, Kuiper and McShay have conducted an alternating three-round 2021 NFL mock draft, and it got ugly for the Dolphins quickly. The best break Miami got came at number six, with W.R. Jamar Chase ending up still on the board for Miami to draft. The rest of the Dolphins haul? Number six overall, W.R. Jamar Chase, LSU. Number 18 overall, L.B. Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa, Notre Dame. Number 36 overall, O.L. Liam Eichenberg, Notre Dame. Number 50 overall, O.T. Sam Cosme, Texas. Number 81 overall, L.B. Chris Rumpf II, Duke. If the Dolphins leave the first three rounds of the 2021 NFL Draft with Chase and a developmental tackle, Cosme, and another lineman who doesn't meet the size standards Miami appears to covet on offense, it will be a big blow to the team's ability to surround Tua Tungavailoa with an ideal supporting cast. How do Cosme and Eichenberg combine to help the Dolphins line? Would Cosme, an equally athletic but equally raw tackle to last year's number 18 pick Austin Jackson, crack the starting lineup? Perhaps at right tackle and then a subsequent move to push Robert Hunt inside to guard, but that would simultaneously fill both guard spots before the projected number 36 pick Liam Eichenberg, who does not appear to be a fit for Miami's thresholds up front, even enters the fray. Thresholds up front, even enters the fray. Defensively, it is easy to buy into the picture of Owusu Koromoa, he's a bit of a positionless player who Brian Flores could take advantage of in coverage situations and pressure alignments alike. But Chris Rumpf too? He's undersized, weighing in at 244 pounds at the Duke Pro Day but on the Blue Devils roster in 2020 at 235 pounds. Amid all of the other needs for Miami, particularly at defensive end amid the departures of Shaq Lawson and Kyle Van Noy, Rumpf too hardly fits the bill of what Miami's roster is filled with. No running back, no center. This would be, more than anything else, a doomsday scenario for Miami. That is, of course, other than seeing Jamar Chase fall to 